Galileo Galilei was born on 15 January 1964 in Pisa, Duchy of Florence, Italy. He was the first of six children born to renowned musician and music theorist Vincenzo Galilei and Guglia Amananti. The family moved to Florence in 1574 where Galileo started his formal education at the monastery of Camaldolese in Vallombrosa. In 1583, Galileo enrolled in the University of Pisa to study medicine. Equipped with formidable intellect and drive, he soon became entrailed with many subjects, particularly mathematics and physics. While in Pisa, Galileo was exposed to the Aristotelian perception of the world, then the leading scientific authority and the only one to be sanctioned by the Roman Catholic Church. At first, Galileo like any other intellectual of his time, supported this view and was on his way to be a university professor. However, due to financial difficulties, Galilee left the university in 1585 before graduating. After leaving the university, Galileo continued to study mathematics while supporting himself with minor teaching positions. During this time, he began his two-decade study of object in motion and published the lethal balance describing the hydrostatic principle of small quantities which brought him some fame. He was awarded a teaching position at the University of Pisa in 1589. While there, Galileo carried out his infamous experiment with falling object and produced his manuscript Dumoto on motion, a departure from the Aristotelian views of motion and falling items. Galileo soon developed pride in his work and his strident criticism of Aristotelian left him isolated amongst his colleagues. His contract with the University of Pisa was not renewed in 1592. Galileo Galilei quickly got a new position in the University of Padua, teaching geometry, mechanics and astronomy. The appointment was just in time because his father had died in 1591, leaving Galileo to take care of his younger brother. He gave exciting lectures during his 18-year tenure at Padua and attracted huge crowds of followers, further strengthening his reputation and a sense of purpose. In 1600, Galilei met with a Venetian woman, Marina Gamba, who bore him three children out of wedlock, daughters Virginia and Livia and son Vincenzo. He never married Marina probably because of financial concerns and fearing that his illegitimate children would undermine his social status. The reputed scientists feared his daughters would never get married well and made them enter a convent when they were older. In 1616, Virginia changed her name to Maria Celeste at a San Matteo convent, and when they became nuns, Livia became Sister Arcangela. Maria Celeste remained in touch with her father, helping him through letters until her death. None of Arcangela's letters survived. Eventually, the birth of his son was legitimated and he became a successful musician. Galilee soon learned of a simple telescope design by Dutch eyeglass makers in July 1609 and created one of his own. He demonstrated this to some Venetian merchants in August who saw its usefulness for navigation and ship sporting, the traders paid him a fee to produce some of them. The intellectual curiosity propelled him to go further and he made the fateful decision to aim his telescopes towards the heavens in the fall of 1609. Using his telescope to explore the universe, Galileo observed the moon and noticed that Venus had phases, like the sun, proving it rotated around the sun which contradicted the Aristotelian theory that the Earth was the center of the universe. He also found that Jupiter had moons, that they were not moving around the planets. His observations and sunspots were published in 1613, which also debunked Aristotelian theory that the sun was perfect. Not only was Galileo a scientist, but he was also a writer. During his career, he wrote a variety of books including The Operation of the Geometrical and Military Compass in 1604 which revealed Galileo's experimental and practical technical skills. The Starry Messenger 1610, a small booklet disclosing Galileo's discovery that the moon was not flat and smooth but a sphere with mountains and craters. 
discourse on bodies in water in 1612 which denied the Aristotelian theory of why objects float in water, stating that it was not because of their flat form, but rather because of the object's weight in comparison to the water it displaced. Dialogue concerning the two chief world systems, 1632, a discourse between three people, one who supports the heliocentric theory of the universe of Copernicus, one who argues against it, and one who is impartial. Although Galileo claimed that dialogues were natural, it was not. The advocate of Aristotelian belief comes across as a simpleton caught up in his argument. Two New Sciences, 1638, a summary of Galileo's life work on motion science and material strength. In addition to the telescope and his various mathematical scientific achievements, Galilei created a hydrostatic balance for measuring small objects in 1604. Also, he refined his theories on motion and falling objects that same year, establishing the universal law of acceleration which all objects in the universe obey. The scientist also designed a type of simple thermometer. Though Galileo did not invent the simple glass bulb thermometer known as the Galileo thermometer, the invention was based on his understanding that density of liquid varies depending on temperature. A thermoscope designed or aided in the design by Galileo is similar to modern thermometers. A liquid rises and falls in a glass tube inside a thermoscope as the liquid temperature rises or falls. Galileo Galilei began mounting a body of evidence in 1604 after he designed his telescope and publicly supported the Copernican theory that the Earth and planets revolved around the Sun. However, the Copernican theory questioned Aristotle's doctrine and the order developed by the Catholic Church. In 1613, Galilee wrote a letter to a student describing how the Copernican hypothesis did not contradict biblical scriptures, arguing that the Bible was written from an earthly viewpoint and suggesting that the science offered a new, more reliable view. Unfortunately for the scientist, the letter was made public. The Copernican theory was declared heretical by experts of the Church Inquisition. In 1616, Galileo was told not to hold, teach, or defend the Copernican theory in any manner for seven years. Galileo obeyed the order partly to make life simpler and partly because he was a devout Catholic. In 1623, Cardinal Matthew Barberini a friend of Galileo was elected as Pope Urban VIII. The new Pope allowed Galileo to continue his research on astronomy and also persuaded him to publish it, given it was objective and did not promote Copernican theory. This prompted Galilee in 1632 to publish dialogue on the two chief world systems, which promoted the theory. The reaction in the church was strong and Galileo was summoned to Rome. The Inquisition proceedings against Galilee continued from September 1632 to July 1633. However, he was treated with dignity for much of this period and never incarcerated. Galileo was threatened with torture in a final attempt to break him and he eventually acknowledged that he had embraced Copernican theory but maintained that his claims were correct in private. He was accused of heresy and was under house arrest for his remaining years, though ordered not to have visitors nor have any of his works printed outside Italy, he ignored both. A French translation of his research of forces and their effects on matter was published in 1634 and copies of the dialogue were published in Holland a year later. Still under house arrest, Galileo wrote two new sciences which was published in 1638 in Holland. Galileo was already blind by this time and in poor health. However, in time, the church could not dispute the facts in science. It lifted the ban on most works which supported Copernican theory in 1658. It was not until 1835 that the Vatican completely abandoned its opposition to heliocentrism. 
Several popes in the 20th century recognized Galileo's great work and in 1992, Pope John Paul II expressed displeasure at how Galileo's case was handled. Galileo Galilei died on 8 January 1642 in Ascentri, near Florence, Italy, after suffering from fever and heart palpitations. The contribution Galileo made to our understanding of the universe was important not only for his discovery, but also for the methods he developed and the use of mathematics to prove them. He was instrumental in a scientific revolution that earned him the honor, the father of modern science. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'd like to give you another exciting video for you to enjoy next. Still, before then, our team will be thrilled if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss other exciting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see some other videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.